Sunday. Um, got home last night pretty late from Chicago. So, um, slept in and relaxed. And now I'm getting dinner together. Junior had a makeup um, football practice today. And we just got back. So I'm making dinner. I'll show you guys what I'm making. And then I'm going to serve it up because I'm starved. And um, yeah. Okay so, okay, so I'm steaming some broccoli in the microwave. I started it. I just seasoned it up. I'm going to put it in for like another minute because it's not all hot. I made this. Excuse me. I made this kit that I got on clearance for $2.79. It's chicken madras and it's Indian inspired. I tasted it. It's really good. It brings basmati rice, but it only brings a little bit. It just brings the sauce and rice. It brings a little bit of rice. Um, it's probably enough for me and the kids, but my husband eats a lot of rice. So I made this and then I also made just our rice, you know, our Puerto style rice. And that and broccoli. So that's dinner. Last week's weekly vlog finally finished editing it. I did work on it a little bit in the hotel and on the airplane, but I finally got it up today. And then I'll have the Chicago vlogs up tomorrow. And then I'll start on all those videos and I'll throw this in at some point. Um, but we just, we've been relaxing. I just took juniors at football. Um, my husband stayed home with Kaylee's and he, cause he has homework to do. He would have loved to go, I'm sure. Um, but he had homework to do. So, um, yeah. So he stood home and finished up his homework. Right now they're watching Power Rangers while I get dinner served. And then we are gonna eat and I have, we're gonna run out and get milk. So I don't know if we'll have time. So if we don't have time to go, all of us, I'll have to run out or have my husband run out. We need milk and bananas. So yeah, that's what's going on. <laughs> church right now I am a faith formation teacher at the church so I had to come get my teacher's manual and all that good stuff because um, we had actually a meeting for that on Sunday but I wasn't there because we had just traveled and I was definitely not feeling well so I was definitely needed the rest um, my lip looks pretty bad today but I think it's in the last stages of healing up so I'm not gonna mess with it too much I just found out that my Girl Scouts troop co-leader is not going to be able to help me out this year because she put her daughter in a different school and um, the hours of dismissal don't line up with hours. Um, oh, there's a cone in there. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of a issue but I've got to find a co-leader now so hopefully I can get a mom that's not too busy to help me out um, by Girl Scout policy I can't do it on my own anyways but I um, definitely got to figure that out I've got a big troop so I am gonna head actually to the teacher supply store because I want to see if they have any stickers there before I purchase them online I need like football stickers and ballerina stickers and weather stickers um, I was thinking like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something, but I just don't have the time to drive up there now. And tomorrow I have to go out and get my husband's anniversary gift together because I've been going back and forth on what to get because we try to follow like the traditional gifts and um, I want to get him, it's fruit for this year, so I wanted to get him something like apple, but I couldn't find anything that I thought he would want because he has everything so um, you know that was like reasonably priced because I don't have a big chunk of change to spend so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a little themed basket so like put like fruit of the loom underwear or something in it um, so an apple gift card fruit loops 
some sort of fruity candy and stuff like that. But yes, I'm driving now. I'm going to focus on that. And I will touch base with you guys maybe um, when I get to the school store. I just got out of the school box, which is like the teacher supply store. And I picked up these stickers. I got these Helping Hand stickers because I am the president of the volunteer committee at my school. So I figured this kind of reads volunteer to me. So that'll work good in my planner. I also got these sports ones specifically because I wanted the football ones, but this brings 880 stickers, so I think it should be enough to get us through football season. And then Junior also said he wants to try basketball and baseball this year, so if he does, I have those. And then soccer, tennis, and whatever this bottom sticker is, I think it's hockey, um, are extra ones that he can use, or um, if my kids ever decide to play those sports, I have them. And then I also needed some to just mark off the days that I have um, faith formation classes and also like, I guess, just church and stuff. And I found these for a dollar and they're the Vacation Bible School sticker book. And it has a lot of small crosses and then like nice, um, cute little stickers like the monkey and the lion are cute and um, words like joy, hope, love, faith. So... I figured I could use that in many ways. So that's everything I got. And now I'm going to head home because I've got some stuff doing. to get done. I'm doing popsicle. Okay, and where'd you learn that? At, at school. Okay, go ahead, show me. Hey, hot dog. Okay, look. Are you ready for what? The pop. Pop what? Popsicle. My hands are high, my feet are low, and this is how I pop. Popsico, pop popsico. <laughs> Good job. Happy Tuesday morning, guys. I am gonna get my room cleaned up. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second what it looks like. It's a mess, but it's always a mess in the mornings from rushing around and then off. Also, I just haven't like cleared off my desk in days or my end table, so it's a mess. But I'm gonna clean up my room really quick. I'm gonna try to get it done in like 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes should be good. Uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna head out. I've gotta go to Target, like I mentioned yesterday. I have to pick up stuff for my husband for our anniversary, which is Thursday. He did just invite me yesterday. He was like, on Thursday, you should come up to my job for lunch. So we'll probably do lunch on our anniversary we don't we don't do much sometimes we go out the weekend after um, but I don't think we'll be doing that this weekend either so I don't know but uh, yeah I'm gonna get this room cleaned up and I'm watching some YouTube videos right now. right now I'm watching Kristen from Southern Mom and she's one of the moms I filmed with and met at the um, meetup in Chicago so I'm watching like one of her Chicago videos right now well, I get this cleaned up. And here's my YouTube tip. If you're like me and you like to have YouTube on while you're like cleaning and stuff, make put it all in the watch later playlist. And then that way you can, like every video you're planning to see, you put it all in the watch later playlist and then you can just play that playlist. And then um, you don't have to keep going and switching the video in the middle while you're cleaning. Um, once you've watched all the videos, if you go into your actual computer, like on your browser, you can click remove watched videos inside the watch later um, list and it'll take everything you've watched out so you don't have to go through and delete them one by one. So that's my uh, watching YouTube tip. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what my room looks like and get it cleaned up in the next 15 minutes and then um, go throw some laundry in and I'll head out the door. So this is what my room looks like in the mornings, almost every morning. Um, that doesn't look like that every morning. That's just been like that for like the whole weekend. Um, I've got this basket that has a few things I've got to put away and socks to pair up. The bottom basket has hangers in it because I was folding laundry in the living room. Um, paper from something my husband bought those shoes which he doesn't even use anymore our dressers those shoes are the white these are the white sandals I had bought for the conference but they ended off because I'm still swollen from being sick they were too tight so 
I'm not sure if I'm going to return them or keep them. I don't know, so I have them here. Towels that need to be washed. My desk is a disaster. I just basically took everything out of my purse and the suitcase and threw it there. And then these should be in the bathroom. And this is from my husband's coffee in the morning, so I'm going to have to get on him for that. That so sad. It shouldn't even be on the floor. There's papers, a dog's bone, my pajama pants. Like... Keeping it real, guys. This is what my room looks like basically every morning. I'm going to get okay, to clean it guys, up. I don't know. True to my fashion, it's taken me a little bit longer to clean up my room. Mainly because today I decided, well, first of all, I needed to clean my desk. I haven't cleaned it off my desk in like five days or something. Crazy. So then I started to clean off my desk and I found the big pack of pens and stuff that I had bought at Costco. And um, I decided, okay, well, I've got to find a place for these. Well, all I had were these two little bucket things with pens and Sharpies and highlighters and all the stuff I had didn't fit. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did to kind of organize that a little bit. And um, my room is not glamorous. I'm gonna preface this by saying that. Um, we decorated it, but we did it all on a budget. We spent more money in the kids' rooms than we did in our room. Um, we reused stuff we already had. And then we were actually going to paint this room this year. Probably not until, like, the fall because it's too hot now and then it's very humid. But um, this color my husband actually made using a different paint that we had and I love it but I want to paint it and I'm actually thinking of painting it maybe a little bit darker shade than the gray that's throughout the whole house or the exact color gray that's throughout the whole like main part of the house so it's not glamorous it's stuff we already had um the table I use as my desk actually the previous owner of the house left that behind I'll show you guys what my room looks like right now I have the few things of laundry on my bed that I'm gonna put away right now but I wanted to grab the camera and um what I did and then I just have like a pile of trash on the floor that I just grabbed the trash bag so I can pick it up um I didn't do I mean I just cleaned all, everything off but it took me longer because I started to organize that the pens and I had to like kind of reorganize something else so first of all falling money around here Two dollar bill my somebody gave my husband. All right, let me show. So here's you my desk. Um, my computer's actually not in here; it's in the living room. But this I had, and I don't have the containers. But I had two little containers with pens here, and um, these are lays that we got at the Luau in Hawaii, and I just want to keep them here to remember Hawaii. But um, so this used to be in my bathroom, and it held my makeup. But I took it out. It is actually something for like a desk organizer. I have my glasses, um, the rag to clean my glasses, my earbuds, erasers, lead. There's pencils back here, um, sharpies and highlighters, and then all my pens. And this is this cool little here, I'll it out. this cool little booklet that my husband got me that has a bunch of um, post-its in it. So that's my desk. I did hang this. This was just sitting there. It used to hang on my closet door, but the little um, command hook fell. Like fell, I, I put multiple ones and they fell more than once, so I just gave up. So I hung that here. It's kind of off center, but whatever. Um, that's my desk and my little desk chair. So everything else, um, that is staying there because my husband um, needs to take that to Costco. Um, and then this thing is kind of crooked, but um, that's where I hang his clothes in the morning for him for work because I iron his clothes every morning. And then his side table or bed, like I said, I've got a few things I've got to put away on the bed. My side table, the only thing that's there that doesn't go there is my cup, but I was drinking water. I've got a vacuum, definitely. Here's his dresser, my dresser. And then I'll show you guys. Um, so I pulled this. It's really old and gross. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with this um, out of the dining room when I organized in there. And that video um, should already be up. Um, it's part of a collab. And so it doesn't quite fit on the shelf here, but I think it should be okay since my husband and I only use this bathroom. 
If not, I can put it under the sink, but I just put like, this has my eyeshadow palettes. This has anything face related, blush, that exploded when we went to Chicago. Powder, stuff like that. This has um, mascara, eyeliner, eyebrow stuff. So there's that, I've got two masks up here. My face creams, and then there's my brushes. My pens were actually in this. My brushes there. I have another makeup kit up there, and then this, I don't know. So the floor, I've got to pick up all this trash, and I've got a vacuum, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the trash, take that stuff over to the living room, the laundry room, and I'm going to return those. So I'll put those out in my car. And um, I'm going to go make myself breakfast and then go to the store. And I can vacuum even, I can even vacuum when the kids are home. So vacuuming is quick and easy. And I do, I have to vacuum the living room and dining room anyway, so it should be quick. But I just got to throw all this stuff away, put all this stuff away, and I'll be happy with the way my room looks. Hey, I finished at Target. I'm headed to Old Navy to exchange those pants. I grabbed Junior on accident skinny jeans. And he does not like skinny jeans. Plus, they kind of look like girls' pants on him. So, um, gonna head there and see if they let me exchange them without a receipt because I forgot the receipt at home because I brought a smaller purse and I had um, my receipt thing in a larger purse. So, there's that. Um, it looks like it's gonna storm again today. <music> Excuse the laundry and unmade bed behind me. Um, today is going to be a computer work type day. I'm already at my desk. Um, I did start a load of laundry and I started to load up the breakfast dishes. I think I've got a few more to go because I think Kaylee's might have put hers in the sink. I'm not sure. Um, oh geez, I look a hot mess. Um, basically I'm just in a tank top and some yoga pants and I've got my hair in this weird thing going on back here I have to let's see I have to edit some videos from the conference I want to start getting them edited and uploaded um, to be scheduled out onto YouTube I also um, officially started my semester of school yesterday we completely like officially started it up um, my advisor and I so I need to get into some schoolwork and I also have to work on I'm looking at my planner sorry I also have to work on some Girl Scout stuff so um, I think I'll be making some videos about some like organization and some activities and stuff that I've come up with so you can stay tuned for that um, but I've got to work on some things there emailing and creating a flyer and a few things like that <laughs> Thursday guys we are on our way to school I am actually going to school with the kids today <laughs> uh, we have I'm helping out the teachers make some copies today and then I'm, I'm only gonna stay for like two hours so from like 8 to 10 and then I'm gonna head straight over to my husband's job because it's our wedding anniversary and we are going to have lunch together today because he does have to work <laughs> Can you sit the right way in your seat, please? So, yeah, that's what's going on now. I'm gonna stop vlogging though, because I need right, to. Hi, guys, I'm here with my husband. <laughs> We're at this little cafe type place. I don't know what you would call it. Mom and Pops dining room restaurant thing? Yeah, it's like a little restaurant. It's called Lunch, Lunch on Main. Main. It's in, what town is this? Like, Hapeville. Hapeville? This is Hapeville. I thought this was College Park. All right, somewhere, and we're having lunch. Okay, so my husband's coworker said I have to try the pork chop, so I got this blackened. I don't remember what's this. Lemon pepper pork chop. Blackened lemon pepper pork chop, mashed potatoes. Thank you. Um, cucumber salad, and a roll. And my husband got fried chicken. World's best fried chicken. <laughs> It's amazing. French fries, a roll, and okay, guys, we just got out of lunch. I think you have to go that way. Yeah. And um, it was amazing. It was really good. The food was really good. Um, my husband already knew he liked the fried chicken, and 
I tried the blackened pork chops, like I said. And this is the place. So it's called Lunch on Main Street, and it's called, and it says home of the wall, of the off the wall menu. And it's lunchonmainstreet.com. I can link that down below. And it's in College Park, Georgia. So if you're ever visiting the Atlanta area, um, this is not too far from the airport. It's probably like, what, 20 minutes? 10? Not even. Yeah, it's probably like 10, 15 minutes. Depending on what side the, the domestic or not. Yeah. Probably like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. Maybe a little less from the airport. So if you're traveling into Georgia, maybe you just have a layover or something around breakfast or lunchtime. I saw the sign said breakfast was from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. and then from 10 to 2. Two. Yeah, they, they close, close at, at 2. two. Every so day. from 10 to 2, no, 11 to 2. From 11 to 2, they have their lunch. So definitely check that place out. It's really good. It's a really little, small, like mom and pop type place, but it's really it's not good the food. Most beautiful on the outside. Yeah, it doesn't look like it have really good food. Do you have your blinker on still? Yes. Um, it's almost like a dining room. Yeah, right. kind of, but like a really but tiny really. one. <laughs> like, it's really small, but it's really good. So I'm definitely recommending that one to you guys. And now, I don't know what we're going to do. My husband took the rest of the day off of work for our anniversary. So I don't know. I guess we're going home. It's a special day. <laughs> so, it's yeah. Good day. Good day. We're, um, we're just driving now. So here's what I just got. It's an edible arrangement. It's got three balloons and a teddy bear with a chocolate covered strawberry. And I'm gonna try to pull everything off here so we can look at it. I made the decision this morning to not wake them up at 6.30 to have breakfast. Um, usually we wake up, I'll do a video on our morning routine, but usually we wake up at 6.30 and the kids have breakfast with my husband. I take my levothyroxine because I, can, I have to take it on an empty stomach and then I'll, I eat later on in the day. And I just made the decision today that I just was going to let them sleep in. So. We got home very late. It was about 10 something, 10 15 probably when we got here. And so the kids are obviously tired as they're used to going to bed at eight. I woke them up, I had them get dressed and brush their teeth, and then they just had a smoothie and a protein bar in the car while we were driving to school. So now I have to go inside and finally wash my face because I literally just put on a bra and a shirt. So I didn't get a chance to brush my teeth. 
All right. Wash my face, fix my hair. But since yesterday, my husband um, came home from work early with me. He left his car at work. So I now have to take him to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack him his lunch. And I'm going to, well, first I'm going to wash my face, brush my teeth, and put some pants on. I'm going to pack him his lunch. And then I'm going to um, have him drive himself to work. I'll be there, and then I'll just come home. Um, I've got some work to do around here. I've got a video to edit and some cleaning up to do because I wasn't home all day yesterday. All right, guys. I dropped my husband off at work, and I'm going through the car wash. I've, my car desperately needs to be washed, and the inside needs to be vacuumed out. I didn't get a chance to do it before school started, so... Getting it done now, early in the morning, it's 9 a.m. So, um, just going through, doing it now. And then, um, going home to clean up the house. So it's just clean. So it's Friday, and both of you got perfect um, behavior at school. So, so far, this is all I've got in my treasure basket this year because I, um, I have to go buy a few more things, but can we back up a second? Yeah. But you guys have two choices. You can each pick something out of this treasure basket, or you guys can have both of these things as a, a present for both of you. So this is a, a magnetic tic-tac-toe and checkers game that we can keep in the car so you guys can play, or a go fish, and a go fish. So you guys can either have both of these things to keep in the car, or you guys can pick there, those pencils are mechanical pencils. What is and mechanical a few, pencils? Like lead pencils. And there's a few like girl things in there because I have to go buy some boys. What stuff. is Can we? Can he pick something and I pick something out of there? Yeah, no. each of you get something from him. I don't want to pick him. something out of there. Come here. Let's see what to pick. Yeah. Happy Sunday. We just left Costco. We're at the container store now. Why are you so angry? Why are you all excited? Because I finally found a Trader Joe's. Finally. And it's by Costco. And we come here every two weeks so I can shop at Trader Joe's. So we're going to go in here and just check it out because I don't know if there's anything we're going to buy. Plus we have cold stuff in the truck. Yeah, we have cold stuff And we already made a stop at the container store. But it's in that bag, and that bag is set, it says up to eight hours. Okay. Well, how, how do I park in this place? Can you pull into a parking spot? I can't park in any of these spots. Do you see how little they are? They're like for not for people with this kind of car. You know what? I saw some spots over here. I'm going to try out those spots. Can I park that way on those spots? I think so. You trade stuff you and the person who made park? the store is Joe? I was raised in New Jersey. I know how to parallel park. Thank you. Look how easy that was. Do you know how to drive? Yes. And I don't trust that you know how to parallel park. Whatever. That's definitely not a true statement. That is definitely a true statement or you wouldn't have me driving right now. Yeah. Let's go quickly because we have stuff to keep in the truck. But we can't film inside Trader Joe's so if I do buy something it'll be with the Costco haul. Let's go. So how was it? Huh? Hold on. Are you recording? Yes. So how was your first Trader Joe's experience? It was good. A little hectic with the kids wanting to run around everywhere with those little carts. But uh, it was good. Next time they're not going to both be allowed to take carts. You got all fancy with your little special bag. I had to get a bag that said Atlanta. I seen it in the... I'm in a group that does, that's like a Trader Joe's slash any haul type group and everybody trades the bags. And I had seen the Atlanta one and I was like, I need that bag. So now I have one. I could start the whole trading process, but I don't know. It's a lot of effort needed for that. People like trade, like everybody, they collect the cities. Like they collect like 
from all over the country. I can get a New Jersey bag from my mom, so if I want one. If this becomes a thing, what do you think? Do you think it's going to become a thing? I'm knowing you, most likely. <laughs> all right, Kaylee's. That car's getting parked here.